close information space. Answer. Good morning, Julie. We're trying to reach you. How are things in Detroit? Oh, Adrian, we've got trouble. Uh, what's wrong? O'Connor. He sent a memo to the executive committee saying our car was going to be late, so his should ship oh, first. Getting a bit anxious about his bonus, I see. And Reg called a special meeting this afternoon. What? I thought he was in L.A. He is. So, you'll get to whisper in his ear why you've slipped our production schedule three weeks. Look, Julie, I didn't slip anything. Kiev had to enlarge the fuel cell. I'm sorry. I am just so... And anyway, the production problem is solved. What? What did... <coughs> bless you. Oh, no. Bless you, Adrian. That's great news. I pasted in the solution on page uh, 26 of your report. But you know, now that I come to look at it, you may want to do it here instead. Hmm. Molly got flowers? Have you seen McCormick's column? This is great! Mm-hmm. Let me scan it. Open report. Insert. As Mike McCormick wrote in his column today. End insert. You know, I'm still struggling with this 3D model. What's the problem? It just looks like, like, uh, it looks like an engineer did it. Well, darling, let's dress it up a little bit. Move it up where we can work on it. I came across an old TV ad in the company library. Where is he? There he is. Hide call outs. Vellum. Mannequin. Mail. 511-62. Texture map. Adobe. Wand. Source. Okay. Let me move him over. There. It is Fred. I wonder. Oh, wow. He finally proposed. Cut it out. I'm sorry, Julie. I can't do that. Bill. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, hon. Um, Betsy put me up to it. 
What? No way, Mom. It was Sam. It was not. Oh, uh, listen, hon. The bank just sent the papers over. The loan was approved, but they need your signature on the truth and lending form. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. Oh, hey, come on, guys. Calm down, all right? <laughs> Combine chart and film, sync, and posterize. Mm. Uh, we are, in conclusion, we are poised to offer the first zero emission, high performance sports car in history. The last, hyd the last hydrogen, the plant, the last solar powered fuel plant went on stream this week. The delivery infrastructure is in place, and as our Austin Kiev simulation shows, we have passed our last production hurdle. Our first cars hit the showrooms March 26th, and we project shipment of over 5,000 cars per month by the end of spring. Our numbers suggest that total domestic sales volume for the first full modeled year will exceed 80,000 automobiles. In short, we are ready to build a car that will make this company a lot of money now. What do you say now, Mike? Very impressive presentation, Julie. However, I have to seriously question these sales figures, Reg. Just look. At the DX9 launch in April of 99, it was an unmitigated disaster. And why? Because you cannot launch a sports car in the spring. All you have to do is look at the percentages of exotic cars that end up in California. We've all seen the figures. Californians buy 85% of the exotic cars in this country. What's that got to do with... No, Reg, just a minute. Let me run with this. Now, by the time their marketing ramps up, it'll be fall, and that's a best-case scenario. It rains in California in the fall, and when it rains, you cannot sell sports cars. My luxury car, on the other hand, is a year-round car, and we are ready to start production and promotion. I want to launch now. Now, we can bring out Julie's car in the fall when she's had time to reassess Rich, the... may I interrupt? First, our PR campaign is in full swing all over the world. Mike McCormick, who is not exactly loose with the compliments, just today called it one of the finest PR campaigns to come out of this town in a long time. As for the DX9 launch, it was hurt, not by season, but by earthquake. The big one of 99 is the real cause for Mr. O'Connor's sluggish sales. But when people calmed down and the highways were reopened, sales soared. In fact, if I could slide their line onto our chart... Thank you, Adrian. You can see that their run rate at year end is identical to ours. So, unless Mr. O'Connor has some early notice of another earthquake, I think we can safely look for sales to explode. Thanks, Julie. I think we've heard enough. You and your team have done a, a superlative job. Let's build it. Now, let's turn to the matter of Mike's car. We'll go back to the original production schedule, although, uh, Hiroshi, I believe you had some concerns about Mike's projections of cost. Setting up the production line, your figures were, what, 24% higher? 